Hello and welcome back, my name is Jay Riviera and we're back with more Invisible Ink. We are just about to head off to this cheap financial suite, uh, hoping to pick up a little bit of money and head down to the vault next time. So let's get this started. I did all my inventory management while we left the other mission, so that shouldn't be too much of, the, of a bother. Right, so she can only use the accelerator chip when she's right next to it, okay. We'll have Banks have a little peek through here. Got a security camera that we can take down straight away. We also take down that nanofab and the safe. We'll head Banks in. Oh. A lot of unchecked doors here. Right, we'll have Banks peek through this one. Have Shailen peek through this one. And we'll take it down with a combination of lockpick 2.0 and normal lockpick. Right, we've got nothing in here, so we'll just take cover from the doors that we've got available to her. Oh, no scrolls. Um, I'm actually going to run and pick this up with accelerator chip. Oh shit, that's bad. Do 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 Burke and how else should we set off the demon? We need the power. Do you know what we're gonna have to leave it? And we'll actually just get her safe there. There's plenty more consoles for her to pick up on the way, but we'll end the turn there. Right, so we have a guard patrol coming this way. Start heading and shale them round the back. <coughs> oh, random sneeze. Not so random. They come in pairs. Right, and we'll have International come and check out this nanofab. And Banks head round into cover as well. Riot door, probably no good. Would give somebody armor Pearson level one or armor Pearson level two. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I hope I'm not coming down with something. Right, we're actually going to install this on international straight away. So that gives everybody the armor piercing capability. So let's end the turn there. Hopefully we're going to him steal from this guard as he comes through. Right, select banks. 
Money and a pass card will take both. I believe we should be able to head straight into this room. We've got a demon here. The reduction of AP isn't too too much of a trouble. So maybe we'll just take that down now. Oh, nice. Got a smoke grenade and an accelerator chip. You know what? It's not worth doing our inventory. If somebody passes by, we'll go and grab it. And we'll get Sheila and International in through here. Which means we're kind of going to have to take that demon anyway. So let's see what it is. It's not good. But we need to take down this laser wall. So we should end the turn there. Okay, um, this guy should only really get to here. First we'll have Shalem steal from this guard. All of his monies. And then just head round the back of the console. We'll have a national head on to the other side and pick up this console here. And Banks should be able to get round the back here. Well, we'll check out this doorway beforehand and then get into this area. Oh, nice. Warning. Right, he should be fine staying there because the guard flips on the 180 and heads up this way. There might be something in that little corner. We'll, um, we'll hack that camera when it becomes active, as long as it's not too expensive. Right, but we should be good to end the turn for now. Okay. Right, well, Banks, you are just going to have to die for a little bit. Because there's no way... Wait a minute, it says this area is safe. It's safe from him, not from him. But we are going to actually... Damn it, I lost. Take up that cover, just so that we're not in the doorway there. And then what we may do is have 
international come pick up the defib lance. Do you see that? What was that? Do you see that? Right, I don't think this guy actually comes and investigates anything. So... We should be good to leave Shalem there. Right, and what is that? That's a camera drone. Right, international, give us vision on this room. Is there three guards here? We could do one more. Right, nobody's actually coming past this area. All right, we've got the camera drone and the two guards, yep. <coughs> Sorry about that. But we'll definitely need to find that scanner. Sounds like it's right here. I love the fact that they um, updated how much money that the the executive has. So let's just end the turn there and see how it actually plays out. Right, Shalem, just start run dragging. We're going to drag up to this area here, which means an easy exit out of the doorway. Do not need power. Shit, it is Banks who has the pass card, isn't it? Might be in this room. Let's keep our fingers crossed because we've only got four turns before it activates again. <laughs> But that is priority number one at the minute.
Have a little peek. Warning. Awesome. We'll take that down. We'll actually start taking some of this stuff down so we can pick up a bit more power. Right, there's a demon on that camera. We're not taking we're not going anywhere near that. Uh, we'll actually take this down now, just so that we've got vision on this room, so we can see anybody who is in it. Nope. We'll go a little further in with the view. Right, and we should be good to grab that next turn and stop them finding out where we are. But, in national. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Um, take that console and we'll end the turn there. This guy is flashbanging the crap out of everything. crash there. Valuable tech, we'll take that. And now we kind of need to start heading in national towards Banks to see if she can't get her up because I'm pretty sure that the elevator's just here just by itself camera database don't need that if it was a facility database I would think about picking it up but we'll have international check this room out first <laughs> Right, well, elevator's actually here. Right, what well, we got? Programs cost two power. I don't need to use any programs for the next five turns by the looks of things, so. That is an awesome one. Get a little bit back in there. Observe his movement. And observe his movement. Right, yeah, he's actually coming to investigate the area we were. And this guy's still on his patrol, which is fine. Jesus Christ, what was that? Do you know what? We'll, we'll click it on reboot just in case because there's a lot of power in there. We might need it.
Wait, but I think we're good to end the turn. Shalem's just holding down the bloke. The executive. Right, so if we stay here, I don't think he's going to throw a smoke grenade. Do you know what? I've got to come past this way, so what we'll do is we'll actually just leave. Should actually be good to drag the body here. <laughs> Shit, but this this guy is going to Right, just put that body down, Shailen, please. And observe this this guard's movements. Right, looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a couple of turns actually. So we'll just end the turn. Investigating. Right, we've got a vault code. So they're both actually heading out of this room, which is oh, perfect. Right, we don't need a peek because we can just open the door to observe this guard. Because we know where he is already. So if we head up here, it's another support guard. It looks like the room Banks is in is safe. So next turn we'll head up pick banks up get into a safe area we may as well have the ladies investigate this room just to see what's there we need to pick up the well I can tell that it's going to be the large safe in that room because we haven't found it yet so hopefully pick up the large safe pick up these two safes on the way out and we should be good. Right, but we're going to have to end the turn. Let these people leave the room. as well pick up the other accelerator chip while we're here even just to sell it no we do not want to steal we want to use the defib Not good. Right, but what we'll do is we'll have banks. Head over, shut this door. Head up here and shut this door. Pick up the safe as well, obviously, so when this guard comes out. Do you know what? We're not going to need the pass card. And if we do, we'll have somebody come and pick it up from the safe. 
We'll have Nash and I'll pick it up next turn. Just, it'll be a lot easier using the pass card to get to the elevator, even though we've got to pick up this safe as well. Right, so that guard's here, so he will be heading back through. But it'll take him one, maybe two turns to get back through. Maybe three, even. Right, so Shalem can observe these guards for now. Right, yeah, international should be fine. Bank should be fine. Let's end the turn. <laughs> international, not fine. Well, why did you shoot her? She was going into a hidden area. We'll steal his monies. Need the power. Corporate intelligence. <clears throat> Do you know what? We'll just take it anyway. It means Banks is now on full inventory. And we've got the vault coming up. Heading off over to National. I think this guard's actually coming to investigate this area as well. Let's end the turn for now. Right, we'll have Shale and Wait. Right, the National can't actually get out of this room yet. She could, but not without being noticed. <coughs> Jesus. Ah. Uh, blah. Um. Actually, if we open that door, I believe we should be able to check these guys. Yep, that's all good and good and well. Um, so let's end the turn. Jesus Christ, I was getting... Why are you running so slow? What's all this business? 
investigate. Still all checking out that area. Just probably gonna kill my frame rate once again. Right, so can I actually move from this at the minute? Jesus Christ, that is killing my computer. All them in that area. I've never had my frame rate drop like this, ever. And then it, it goes back up to like... To the 30 frames per second. It just completely annihilates my frame rate. Right, this is what we're waiting for. To see where they are all heading. One of them's heading into Banks' room. So let's just end the turn once again. Let's have them all move away. It's doing it again. I may have to reload the game because this is horrific. I saw something. Nobody's actually going to move from this area. Right, let's try this again and keep my fingers crossed that it doesn't actually just fry my computer again. Right, so... <clears throat> Take down this guard. We'll have Banks head here and just... Right. Steal his monies. So if you head here, Banks, if that guard checks that body again, we're going to shoot him for being a noob. <clears throat> but we should be fine. Right, that's one use only, so I'm not going to use it now. So let's just end the turn. Are you taking the piss?
can shield him, not kill that guard. Shilam can't actually shoot the support guard. And why not? Because that support guard is automatically going to chuck a smoke grenade and ruin everything. So why can we not kill any of these people? Jesus Christ, this is starting to piss us off now. We'll kind of lose the ladies. But it may be the only option. Because I am quite willing to shoot every single person on this mission. Well, at least four of them so that we can get through. There's no point killing him. So let's just end the turn. Right, let's start by killing him. Then reloading. End of the turn. Hey, you looking for target? Let's kill him. Kill him. Oh, right. And hopefully we'll get an enforcer. The support guard will do. Kill him. Right, we're gonna have to wait a long time for him. Um, the dust to settle. Oh, you're taking the piss. Right, looks like this is end of playthrough.
gonna have to pick up the body to die. No, we cannot actually even get ourselves killed. Because that god stood there. We'll just have to end the turn. And get shot in the head. Oh, I'm not happy that I failed that playthrough. A few stupid mistakes at the end there. Right, anyway, looks like um, I'm not actually going to complete Operation Sherwood build. You never know, I might do a quick speed run, get get a few missions out quickly, because we've, we've still got a little bit of time left, haven't we, on the update. But please do drop a like or a comment if you did enjoy the episode. Stay hidden.